Okay, in this video, I want to show an example using the Grignard reaction with acetone. So, I'm going to use this Grignard reagent. I'm going to use a benzene ring with MGBr. And we are reacting that with acetone and a solvent such as HCl, H2O to protonate that oxygen in that last step. So, this is what we're going to do first. We are going to remove this MGBr and write our reagent like this with a negative charge there. That's a shortcut. It's really helpful. Saves you a lot of step and it makes the mechanism look a lot cleaner. So, let's show acetone out. Acetone is our electrophile. And this benzene ring with the negative charge on the carbon is our nucleophile. We will be attacking this carbon and part of the carbonyl group. We'll show that by drawing an arrow. When we do that, we have to break this pi bond to give us something like this. So we made a carbon-carbon bond right here to here. That's this guy. These are our two other groups still here, our two methyl groups. This is our pi bond that was broken to a sigma bond. And now we have this O minus. Well, we're going to react with HCl, H2O. So I'm just going to use the acid. This oxygen, a lone pair on it, is going to grab that proton and push those electrons onto the chlorine to give us a final product of something that looks like this. That would be your answer for this problem. I hope this video helped and leave a comment down below if you have a question. Thanks for watching.